playgrounds are like giant abstract sculptures, except you can play on them. They have interesting lines, shapes, and colors, but you can hang on them, climb on them, and slide on them. Today we're going to design our very own playground. To design our playground today, we're going to need a piece of paper, a pencil and an eraser, and something to color with. The first step is to draw a horizon line that'll separate the sky from the ground and give us a place to put our playground equipment. So I need to think of a theme for all of my playground equipment, and I think I'm going to go with space. So I'm going to start with this rocket ship ride. I'm going to try to think of at least three to five different pieces of equipment for the playground. When I was a kid, we used to have these things on the playground that were, usually they were animals, but they were attached to the ground by a spring and they would wobble back and forth. So that's kind of what I'm trying to make here, except it's a rocket ship instead of an animal. The next piece I'm thinking of is something that you can climb inside, but I think I'm going to make it shaped like the moon. And then you climb inside the moon and you can look out through the craters to see the rest of the playground. Sounds kind of cool. All right, another piece finished, and now we're going to add a lunar lander, except I'm going to turn it into a slide. So on one side of the lunar lander, there's going to be a slide that comes down to the ground. So whatever you've chosen for your theme, just try to think of a few objects that are connected to that theme. They don't have to be connected to each other, just the same theme. So even though the lunar lander is more realistic and the rocket ship is more cartoonish, that's okay. They're all connected to that space theme. And now we're going to completely leave the realm of reality by adding a spinning UFO. So we used to have one of these at a playground when I was a little kid. It looked like a UFO, but it would spin around and around and you would sit on it and hold the handle at the top. So each of the circles is like a bump where you could sit and in the center is a ring that you'd grab onto as the UFO spins around. And the last thing I want to add are a few trees and bushes because that's going to make the playground look more real. Even though we've got some cool playground equipment there, um, at, by adding trees and bushes, it makes the landscape where the playground is look more like a real place. Before I start to add color, I'm going to outline everything in black. That'll give me a chance to erase all of the pencil marks because I'm coloring it with marker and you will be able to see the pencil marks through the marker if I don't erase them. And now it's time to color. So when I'm choosing my colors, I'm going to try to make the playground look realistic. And the background is going to end up being more colorful because of the colors of the trees and the grass and the sky. So to make the playground equipment stand out, I'm going to use grays to make it look more metallic. And because the background will be colorful and the playground is gray, the playground should be really clear and easy to see.
My space theme playground is nearly complete. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. There's only one thing left to do, and that's add some kids to this playground. I hope you liked the way your playground turned out, and I will see you next time. Bye.